It <laughs> almost looks like, it looks didn't like have it's oil. brand new. It's still high flow. Yeah. It's not going to do much. In fact, this is a long bolt. <laughs> Especially when you're not using a tool. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely using a tool. <laughs> I mean, I'm using a hand tool. Hand tool. I know. I want to use power. All right, bike's starting to look like a bike. Maybe we should do a story. Sure. Yeah. You want to grab me a filter? Oh, yeah. Oh, I miss dirt biking. Add two ounces per quart. So it's probably, say, a four quart system. Where's your distilled water? Oh, do you have distilled? I don't think I have distilled water. All right. We'll make a list, but I yeah. probably have some. Only to set the Amazon up in such a way so that you can. I can't pour anymore. <laughs> yeah. There you go, guys. Yeah, there's, there's court number one. We got the BMW motorcycle, super bike, build going on, finishing it up. We got oil in there, we got the fuel tank back on, we got all electronics on, we got the muffler on, the headers. We have filled the oil to the oil fill line. The coolant, we just have to top up as we're gonna about to start it up. And, uh, and let's, let's do this. Let's do this. we go 200 pound motor i think we're backwards am i oh, okay spin it around oh uh okay a little i got lift up again i'll go pull Where's more. The, uh, you're too oh. i gotta pull this you're not there we oh, go I, I gotta pull this okay one. and rotate it back now oh you're perfect 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 bam bam doesn't feel very bam oh it's this well oh i see it's, it's too far to the, the right. right or the left yeah Huh. Why does it seem like it doesn't want to... It's balancing off of that. And... Oh, you see, it's just not on this at oh, all. Oh, I see. It's just not in that spot. You got, this has to touch the oil filter. Right. There you go. There. And then we need to... But we need that on top of the other box to get height. I thought we'd have that on that. It's okay. You don't want to get higher level. Well, now it's too late. Yeah, it's, it's done. It's on there. Okay. It'll be later once we pull the head off anyways. As you know, my name is Marcel Arnie. Q-Man. And we are on Q-Man's farm in the shop. And yesterday we successfully put in the new used engine in Project Mystique. Don't lift and twist. Oh, yeah, it's just, just some coolant. I'm as strong as a demigod, so. Yeah, you got no annular tear, no discs. <laughs> That's because I lift, bro. You have a t-shirt that says that? Do you even lift, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> if you haven't seen the Project Mystique previous episodes, check out the playlist in the description. Yep. And what are we doing today, Q-Man? Today we're gonna do a little investigation as to what possibly failed last year in the motor. That's right. So since just two days ago when we removed the engine, we drained the oil, we found a valve shim, essentially a spacer to set the valve correct gap um, in cylinder four. It came out of cylinder four most likely and it was on the magnetic drain bolt. Yeah. And so, so what do you think first steps are is to pull, oh. pull the... Pull the, 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 the valve cover? Pretty much, what yeah. what you would pull, yeah? Yeah, pull the valve cover and then we, all the head bolts. Or do we just go right to the head bolts and pull the head off? Well, there's one, the rest are underneath here. You oh, have so to we have to pull the cover, cover off, off anyways. To access all, there's gonna be like 10 bolts. Okay. Or eight bolts. So yeah, first step is get the Torx 30. Yeah, T30, you think? I got it right here if you don't wanna look for it. I think I got it in my hand. I got all right. 50 in my hand right now. Bam. Not much torque in these, that's for sure. All right, now what do you think? A little 
hit with a hammer? Well, yeah. we're gonna have to pull the this off. Pull the spark plugs out? Well, you're gonna try to pull the head, not the spark plugs, but the spark plug boots, the coils. So I guess I could grab my tool and we'll get the coils yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, that little tool. All right, we'll have to take a break and I'll come back for the tool. Okay. I'm looking for the tool to remove the spark plugs. It's been so long. There it is. Just for those who are curious about the Seattle tools on the road. This is what I'm always moving with me. Oh yeah, and the bolts of course are all in the, being used right now. And a few more things down here. And then lots of screwdrivers. Lots of tools, hammers, and more miscellaneous stuff, and more junk miscellaneous stuff on the top. Okay, oh, a little jog. Back to Q-Man's shop. Here's my Northern Light, home on wheels. Q-Man, Randy Savage. See guys, I bought this from Germany, and I think it was like $50. And so it slots on the shape of the spark plugs. Okay. And then you can get a nice hold on them. Otherwise you're grabbing them with pliers and you're Rick, just- Breaking you, them? Well, you, yeah, but usually you just, all that plastic gets squished and buggered up. Yeah. So it's just a nice tool to have. When you change a lot of spark plugs, And one more. That one's tough. Okay. All right, she's loose. Put this back. Did you want to do a little documentary on this in your film? No, nope. no. Nope. Yeah, I mean, you can just pull, there's nothing to it. Look at that, it's from, because it's the exhaust. And oh, that's, yeah. what, see how the system recirculates the air from the left to the right and then to the air box? It's all about emissions, right? Um, otherwise, normally you would just block these off, like we'd put gotcha. plugs in them and apparently by having these blocked off, it's easier to do dyno tuning because there's a little more variances when you have this system that recirculates when you're trying to get the fuel tuning. Interesting. So anyways, uh, number one, two, three, four. Next step is we're going to have to pull these off and pull out the cams to get access. See the head bolts, Q-Man? Yeah. They're way in there, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's, it looks like a Torx 30 maybe, maybe. or 30 or 40, check it out. Oh, that's a 40. Well, this here, we're gonna take the timing chain cover off here, no? Yeah. No, we don't, that comes up. Well, so, we're gonna have to pull the, everything oh, apart. Oh, we gotta pull all these bolts apart too. We gotta get all the cams out and everything. Yeah. That's what I was saying, I'm a little higher, is not so bad, but. I see, yeah. Uh, I didn't think we had this much stuff to pull. and just start laying things out. So we'll need room for parts and we need room for the head after, yeah. <laughs> I need a little bin for those. And now don't pull all these ones out, start to loosen them all off. Cause eventually the cam is gonna be like trying to force itself up and we won't want it to come together. We don't want any you don't want the cam to get jammed, you know what I mean? Okay. It, you'll see. Some of them are tight. And then all the inside here, yeah. Now obviously when you're tightening these down, there's gonna there's be an exact pattern. pattern and a certain torque to that same pattern where you initially torque them to this and then once they're all, and then you're gonna final torque them all. Okay, so that should start be starting to come loose. Okay, at the same time as we could take this gasket, this, see how this, get this, uh, so there's that goo right here. Yeah, around those little bits. There, just work it. Okay. Maybe like a piece of wood. A little bit more. <laughs> a 
Yeah, and some, this one's coming up. Looks like it's coming up a little bit. Yeah, and then try to get this side too. A little bit. Try this side back here. There we go. Oh yeah, she's starting to come there. Like I said, we just want to try to keep it even so it doesn't get stuck at all. Oh, okay, oh. there's the release. Oh, this side still. This one here, a little bit tight. tight. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Lost a piece of wood. Oh, okay, so. Okay, okay. that looks like it's loose. All right, so get your hands on top here. Yeah. Try to just wiggle that piece right off. Okay, and I got the cams. Oh, I see what you're saying. We just don't want to lose the cams flying out. Okay. Okay. Grab your marker. It's on, you know, this is the exhaust cam and this is the intake cam. Okay, so we're going to just do a single dot. Single dot. Yeah. Double dot. Double dot. It's bolt here. Yeah, okay. So that's your tensioner right there. What is it? What size is that? What, a, what is it? It's a big it's a socket. Big, big socket. I don't know what size it is, but. Oh, could be like a 22. Maybe. 23, 24. 24 maybe. Cam chain tensioner. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice guess. And then use it, you do it by hand. Yeah. Oh, it's loosening up. There we go, bud. Yeah. Okay. So, let's look at these cams first of all. I don't see any damage on the exhaust cam. The valve shim. Yeah. This one's missing. There, oh, there it is. And that one's missing. We're missing two. Missing two of them. So how did they fall in? Through those little hole through there? Well, there's oil galleys everywhere. A little piece of plywood, or a little piece of wood. This is why you don't turn a head upside down, because you, then you'd lose the shims, and they're all different sizes, right? Yeah. You know, when your engine started running bad, probably just you lost one at the time. Oh, did you find something? No, just a piece of wood. Oh, but... I just try to get that out of there, but I can't. And then the oil galleys, you can see where can it get to? Oh, there's a piece of wood in here too. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You're, the next time it's gonna oil taken apart if you want to rebuild it. Um, but do you see the uh, the other one missing somewhere? No. It's probably inside the engine pan as well. Oh yeah, and it just didn't make it to the magnet maybe. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll just keep pulling the uh, bolts out from the head. Yeah, so we're slowly accessing the head. Um, I guess we've got to keep in mind the head is also attached to this water pump, so let's pull these line out of the way too. Well, that's all going to come with it. I know, but we don't want to dangle in lines, so we'll grab some pliers for that once you get stopped. And remove that hose. Oh, that one is really tight. Okay. There you go. Wow! That one was really tight. From BMW, Germany. Is it gonna pull off? There. Now we got a little hook. Again, that hose removal tool, always on my list. <laughs> Where's mine? The hose removal tool, dude. There it is. You need a tool to remove the hose. The hose. <laughs> Sometimes it's hoses. Multiple hose. Hose. You need a tool. Sometimes you need multiple tools for multiple hoses. Multiple hose. All right. Okay. Now we have these last There's nothing two little else. bolts over here. Yeah, and that's that'll go right with the head, no problem. Yeah. Just a little mini couple ones. <laughs> yeah, a couple little, little outside ones. guys. Okay, so now we'll start. Then we'll take a little hammer. Oh yeah. Okay, well, we need a place to put this too. Oh, good to go. Using lots of paper towel these days. It's cheaper than paying labor. Yeah. <laughs> They'll add that on your bill, anyways. Wait, there's $25, $25 of shop supplies. 
<laughs> I guess you could take the bolts out, but that's an easier way to do it. All oh, right. look at that piston. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't turn it upside down, but nope. like just, and don't turn it too far. I'm just going to put it just so the bolts stay. Okay. Well, we'll look at that later and get those. Holy crap. That's what happens when you miss a shim or That's two. when a shim falls through. That's how it got through to the block at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I went right through the piston. Wow. I bet this whole cylinder is probably wrecked a little oh, bit. Oh, I bet it's destroyed. Oh, look at the cylinder. It's chipped on the edge. Oh, of the... yeah, it's beat. It's toast. The head is toast. Wow. Look at the valves. This is what you could put on your wall. Oh. This is like a piece of art now. Destroyed art. <laughs> oh, yes, get a photo. I'll have to get a photo for the story. Anyways, guys. Well, that's that. So, there's no salvaging this now. So pretty much pull the clutch, pull the starter, pull anything that's worth. We could start to, if, you know, we could strip the whole motor. Yeah, but you could save some case covers, the starter. No, but, and then the let's stator cover. take a look at the tranny and pull out the gears and everything Yeah, else. pull out the clutch and all that stuff. I mean, it might as well just stay here together right now as is. I gotta turn this into a coffee table with a piece of glass over top of this. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, my name is Marcel Arnie, Pro Superbike Racer. This is Q Man, Superbike Racer. Hey guys. Side by side vlogger. And uh, that's his blown up motor. Started making a nasty tick, and the tick got worse and worse, like as it was running. And then on the track, it blew oil at the back because it went right through the piston. That's it. Oh. That's the end of the bike swap. Well, good thing we got a bike with a new used motor. Q Man's ready for next season. <laughs> Peace.